Yeah, man. So I can remember back in the day, I was going up Lake Clifton, living on Patterson Park and Gay Street, in trenches, trenches, over east. And uh, I used to walk to school every day. I literally only lived like five blocks away from the school. Walk straight down Patterson Park, cut through North Avenue, cross priming place, over onto, um, what's that little street? St. Low Drive up Lake Clifton right there. But anyway, we talking 16 years old. I was already a career criminal, a seasoned one. I was having money, coming to school with them bangs on me every day. I loved going to school. All the girls was there from all the neighborhoods. And I was the freshest nigga in the school. At first I wasn't though, so a lot of people ain't noticed it. But towards the end, I was the freshest nigga up that motherfucker. Cause I was really going on missions for the money. While all the other niggas was corner crack type niggas. So they couldn't compete for real. Cause they hit the block, make a couple hundred a night. I go on a mission, bring back about seven, eight thousand. The thing about it was nobody knew. That all them niggas thought I was hustling. Cause I was from the projects and I ain't used to hang up my new way for real. But anyway, I had a girlfriend who was with me when I ain't had shit, but with, with, with my mother bought me before I really jumped out there and started getting my own money. So that was my baby. But like I say, I really just started being a man towards the end, right? So I'm getting all this newfound female attention and I'm loving it. I'm talking about knocking them down like bowling pins. Head to school in a frenzy. Females fighting in the hallway about a nigga. That happened twice. So my girl, she hearing about the shit, finding out about little shit. She'll cry, I lie to her. She'll take me back. But this is just me thinking that I got her forever. Like, she definitely not going to wear, right? So I'm shagging and dragging. So this continues on for months until finally she breaks up with me. I can't do this, Dutch, blase, blase, right? Well, I'm not taking her seriously. I'm knowing she gonna take me back, right? So I play it cool. Act like I don't care, right? So about two weeks go by. We seeing each other in school. We walking past each other. She act like she don't see me. So I'm like, oh, she playing hard to get. Then one day I'm coming out the cafeteria. I come across the bridge, you don't see on this side. Unbeknownst to me, She's standing there with a group of her homegirls, and this nigga got us all around him. I just got that feeling in my chest, like. So I go over there, like, what's going on? <laughs> so she just look at me like, I'm like, what's up with this? She's like, oh, this is my boyfriend. I was so embarrassed. I just walked off. Like, I ain't even say that. I just looked at her like, just walked off. <laughs> Boy, when I got home, I cried like a baby. I'm talking about I was in my room. <laughs> Ugly as a motherfucker. I'm calling the phone. She ain't getting no answer. That's the first time I had my heart broke. Boy, I couldn't believe it. That's why, boy, if you love her and you know she love you, don't do that stupid, boy. <laughs> you not gonna be able to handle that shit when they come back. 